guys, it's your Crip Bears, and welcome to the Prime Review. Who? What a weekend of football. And it can be summed up in a few sentences. Man City are back top. Uh, Jamie Vardy broke Van Nistelrooy's record. And against Man United, of course. Why wouldn't he? But the big news is, we're up to sixth year! <laughs> so, uh, let's start with the Saturday games. And first up is a 3 2 win for Watford over Aston Villa. Two teams who will who seem like they're going to be struggling to stay in the Barclays Premier League this season. Well, Watford, Erd fans, you can. Look at this match and say, this could be the result that keeps us up. <laughs> because, you know, getting three points against relegation rivals will help you stay up, you know? You know, if Watford can build on this and get more points, you know, keep building up, keep getting more points. You know, if you get points, you're not going to go down. If you get the points, you're not going to go down the Beat the, well, it was very close, but they did in fact beat Villa three to two. Uh, there was an own goal, so a bit self damage for Villa. Uh, but in the end, it was in fact three two, and yeah, you know, solid good three points if you are or a Watford fan. So, oh, the Watford faithful went home happy. Villa fans still waiting for that first win. Under the new manager. And uh, speaking of teams who will struggle, who are meant to be struggling to stay in the Premier League, Bournemouth. Bournemouth did it again. Now, last weekend, it was done to them. They were 2 0 up against Swansea last weekend, and they, they lost the points at the end. It was 2 2. In the 90th minute, Everton took the lead and went 3 2 up. And Bournemouth told the old switcheroo and they scored and took the two, two points from Everton. Oh my god, it was hilarious. <laughs> it was freaking hilarious. I'm not gonna lie, it was freaking hilarious. 3 3, good solid point for Bournemouth. If they'll have to keep up getting good points, especially against teams like Everton, if they're going to stay in the Premier League. It's like Watford. Or if they get the points when they deserve them. Um, and look, getting back at the highlights of the match, Bournemouth did deserve a point. I, there was no point in the highlights. I was saying to myself that Everton sh deserved to win. I mean, you know, at the when I saw the you know, I knew the result before I was watching the highlights, but even when the th Everton scored, I was like, "Ah, if I didn't know they'd equalized, I'd say hey, that would be three points for Everton." But I knew Bournemouth had equalized. You know, there you go. <laughs> and we go from one team who will be struggling to stay in the Premier League to a team that, if I'm being honest. May as well be already down. Newcastle United were squashed. They were just flattened by Crystal Palace and their former manager, Alan Pardew. And, uh, yeah. Bad day at the office uh, for Newcastle. Gives me good hope we're playing them next. <laughs> um... But yeah, bad day at the office for Newcastle. I watched those highlights and, you know, it, it was tough to watch. You know, Newcastle, they're, they're always up in the Premier League. You know, they did get relegated a few seasons ago, but they did come almost straight back. And, uh, you know, they're, they're just one of those teams. Teams, you know, you, just, you do associate them with the Premier League. They're one of those teams that you recognize in the Premier League table. Well, even though they don't finish the high every season. Um, 
But yeah, if Newcastle survived the drop this season, it may be a miracle. And I think even Newcastle fans knew that because um, I watched uh, Newcastle YouTuber True Geordie's uh, reaction to the to the match, and he was pissed and understandably he. He, I'll get to the Liverpool match and why I'm pissed about in though despite the result, but five one, you can understand his, 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 him and the other Newcastle fans. I can't and even imagine, especially when the team you lost five one to is managed by your old manager, and you were just so happy to be rid of him, and just he just comes back and he just. Yeah, it, it was just a bad day for Newcastle, and it's not. And to be honest, it, looking at the Newcastle players, they di just didn't seem to care. They just didn't seem to care that there was a day that they were relegated. You know, they didn't seem to care. They really didn't. And um, it 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 could be a long season for Newcastle. Um. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't see how they can get out of this. I really don't. Um, we go from one a team at the wrong end of the table to the team that returned to the top of the table. Manchester City defeated Southampton 3-1 and returned to the top of the table. You know, after losing to Liverpool... Who four one at home? City were always gonna get back to winning ways. He's and Southampton were just unlucky that it was them who happened to be playing City this week. I I I don't think there was a there's a team that really would have beaten City this weekend. You know, when it, when a team that considers themselves title contenders is beaten and given a good beating, they always. He's think, all right, we have to bounce back immediately, and they go out and they gun for the next opposition. Hmm. And I often, I did it um, in my first season in my Liverpool career mode. When I drew with Chelsea, I was pissed off. I was so pissed off. I went out to absolutely annihilate whoever was next, 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 just on the pure rage, each and. You could see City's players were just, they were intent on getting the result. And, you know, I didn't doubt for a second that City were going to win this weekend. It was just a case of how bad it would be. And credit to Southampton, they did get one goal. I didn't really think they would. I, he really thought it might be 3 or 4 nil, But they did get the goal. Well, 3-1. So their goal difference didn't take that bad out of a being. And, you know, it is just one loss, and, like, Southampton can pick themselves up, dust themselves off, and get on with their next game uh, next weekend. And, you know, just forget about this, and, you know, try again when you play City at home later in the season. So, and, uh, now we go from another team at the, t we go from teams at the top back to the bottom, because we're talking, we, uh, Look at Southampton. I mean, not Southampton. We just talked about them. Sunderland. Getting confused with all the S's here. Sunderland picked up their second consecutive win with a 2 0 win over Stoke City. And I'm like, wait. Wait, what? <laughs> so Sunderland couldn't buy a win before they beat Newcastle. And then they were straight back to losing. They beat Crystal Palace. This, albeit with a fluky. The last minute goal, and now they're being Stoke 2-0. Huh? <laughs> oh, someone's now on good form. Yo, someone might be the most informed team in the bottom half of the table right now. Which is, uh, where to think. Uh, so there you go. Oh, nice 2 0 win. Good for them. Hmm. Sunderland. It looks like they will, uh. 
they're, they're starting to build up that confidence that will probably see them stay in the Premier League this season. Well, if they keep, keep this run up, then why not? Why wouldn't they stay in the Premier League if they keep getting victory? He's against teams that people will expect them to lose to. I'm, I'm being honest, I was expecting a Stoke win. When I saw it, it was 2-0, I was like, have they gotten that scoreline wrong? Is is it two nil to seven? They just, it's just a technical error. <laughs> it, it was it was crazy to see that. And uh, yeah, that rounds up the Saturday games. On to Sunday. He, well, today actually. Actually, no wait. Leicester United were the late game on Sunday, on Saturday. Sorry. Um, but yeah. Leicester and Manchester United. Jamie Vardy breaks the record, of course, against Manchester United. You, you had the feeling it was always going to break the record. And it just happened to be against Manchester United, the team that Van Nistelrooy made his name with. So, uh, yeah. He even got a record breaker on uh, an ultimate team. That's <laughs> worth half a million for some reason. Because why not? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, good for him. Broke the record. Didn't help Leicester or stay top of the table. The, the draw saw City overtake him. Although, Leicester did better than everyone was expecting. People were expecting United to give him a hiding and this would start their decline back down the table. Although, them getting a draw, that's actually a really good result if you're looking at it from a Leicester fan's perspective. If if you last see, you know, at any time, if you said to the Leicester fan, you're gonna play, be, your team's gonna be playing Manchester United. If I offered you a one-all draw, would you take it? A Leicester fan would say, "Thank you very much. I will take a one-all draw." Uh, uh, because Leicester fans, if they play a team like Manchester United, even in the form that they're in, they expect they'd be expecting to lose. <laughs> any Leicester fan will tell you that. So, credit to Leicester. They got out what? That will be a good point for them. A good point. Will they start to decline? Uh, they have a few more hard games coming up, and it's not likely they're going to get much more points out of them. I think they have, like, I think they have City coming up as well. So, uh, tough, tough games. And I know we have to play them in a couple of weeks as well. So yeah, tough, tough games for Leicester City. But if, you know, if, credit to them if they can get a couple more points. Who knows? Maybe, maybe they'll finish in the top six. Who knows? Because, because Leicester fans just have to keep the belief. And you know, look at this as a really good result because you know, it is. It is. It's a really good result. Especially when you consider teams around you didn't really win. I mean, you know, the only team around Leicester that won were was was City and Liverpool. And Liverpool aren't even around Leicester yet. Although we are now because we're in sixth and they're in You get where I'm Matt at. They're in second, we're in sixth, so it's now four places instead of nine. Yeah, we're much closer than we were at the beginning of today. Yeah, let's just say that. And speaking of today, he, he, it was a game of, between the, the London Club Spurs and Chelsea, and it was boring as fuck. Oh my god, can I have the minutes that I took to watch the highlights of my life, of that game made my back for my life. Seriously, can I? Is that possible? No? Thank you. Thank you. Damn it. Shouldn't have wasted my time. It was a waste of time. Nil nil draws are normally boring and oh my god, why did they play Hazard as a striker? Why? What did what was Mourinho expecting? Is he expecting Costa to say, oh he actually dropped me because I'm not scoring goals. I start scoring goals, you know, Costa scored the only goal in Chelsea's win last weekend. 
Um, solid, solid uh, bit of managerial business there, um, Jose. He, yeah, I think we all know who's better. But yeah, it was a really dull game. Watching the West Ham, West Brom <laughs> highlights made up for it though. What a free kick from Maro Zarate. It was fantastic. That is going to be up there with goal of the season. And it was just boom. Fucking hell. It was superb. That should have been the game winner. You know, West Ham were, you know, they were unlucky. He, he, Ricky Lambert came on and he, he, he caused the, the Winston Reid own goal. I think it's been given as an own goal. Well, well, from the highlights, I'd say, yeah, it, it did kind of look like it was an own goal. I don't know what would have happened if Reid hadn't gotten in the way. It probably might have been saved. I don't know. I think it's been given as an own goal. If it hasn't, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, either way, West Brom got the point. Um, building on from that win, that uh, point against Arsenal. Or the, um, the win against Arsenal. Oh, so, uh, four really good points in the last two games for the Baggies. And yeah. Disappointing if you're a West Ham fan. And... And despite Zarate scoring easily the best goal of the weekend and well arguably the best goal of the weekend definitely he he one of them if not the best then um uh, yeah and finally the game at Anfield ah can I have the first 45 minutes back. Scratch that. Can I have the moments that... Can I have every moment except the goal back? Because other than the goal... What the fuck happened in that match? Oh, Christian Benteke. How is he a striker? Can somebody answer that question? How the fuck is he a striker? We could have had about four or five goals in the first half if Benteke had a better fucking touch. But no, he has the touch of an imbecile who's never played football in his life. And yet he's designated as a 32 million striker. How? How? Ooh. And of course, the goal has to come from... Um, a questionable penalty. That was the only way Liverpool were going to score. Or, I was like, oh my god, this match will either end up a loss or a draw. Uh, and thank the lord, the linesman, for some reason, gave a penalty. It's 50-50. I mean, yeah, Taylor's hand, he shouldn't have had his hands up. He did turn away. So... You know, some referees wouldn't have given it. Some referees, like the today's referee, he did give it. Probably because of the linesman. And, you know, his like, Um, I don't know. It's it's questionable. I'll take it, because it means three points. But, you know, Swansea, they have a right to be a bit pissed off. Because, you know, other than that. That's, Liverpool didn't really deserve to win, but we got the three points, and that's all that matters. Well, that and the fact that we're sixth. <laughs> we're getting closer to fourth. <laughs> oh. Seriously, that penalty was a way off my shoulders, and it was worth watching the match. Seriously, the penalty was... The penalty and the fact that both Henderson and Sturridge came on and they didn't get injured again. That I know of yet. I guarantee you I'll put on Sky Sports News now there in a second and they'll be saying, Oh, Sturridge is injured again because he's made of fucking glass. But yeah. 1-0. 6th place. 
And that's uh, that's what happened in the Premier League this weekend. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.